many of my contemporaries, role models, but especially ancestors, have a name that brings the tongue to worship. Names that feel like ritual in your mouth. I don't want a name said without pause, muttered without intention. I am through with names that leave me unmoved. Names that leave the speaker's mouth unscathed. I want a name like fire, like rebellion, like my hand gripping Massa's whip. I want a name from before the ships, a name Donald Trump might choke on. I want a name that catches you in the throat if you say it wrong. And if you are afraid to say it wrong, then I guess you should be. I want a name only the brave can say, a name that only fits right in the mouth of those who love me right, because only the brave can love me right. I say to Shango, it's the name you take when you are tired of burying your jewels under thick layers of suit and self-doubt. I say to the light, Shango, the pickaxe, so that people must mine your soul just to get your attention. If you have to ask why I changed my name, it's already too far beyond your comprehension. Call me Callus, but a name like Shango, I cannot afford to tread lightly. You go hard or you go home. And I am centuries and ships away from any semblance of a homeland. I am a thief's poor bookkeeping skills away from any source of ancestry. I am blindly collecting the shattered pieces of a continent much larger than my comprehension. I hate explaining my name to people, their eyes peering over my journal looking for history they can rewrite. Ask me what my name means. What does your name mean? Not every word needs an English equivalent in order to have significance. I am done folding up to fit your stereotype. Your black friend, your headline, your African queen meme, your hurt feelings, your desire to learn the rhetoric of, of solidarity without the practice. I do not have time to carry your allyship. I am trying to build a continent, a country, a home. My name is the only thing I have that is unassimilated, and I am not even sure I can call it mine. The body is a safeless place if you do not know its name. I say too is what it sounds like when you are trying to bend a syllable into a home with shaky shutters and wind whistling through your empty. I feel empty. There is no safety in a name, no home in a body. A name is honestly just a name. A name is honestly just a ritual. And still, it sounds like reverence. I said to Shango.